Prohibition! It's 1920. In Atlantic City Kingpin, Nucky Thompson celebrates the dawn of Prohibition. In two hours, liquor will be illegal by decree of Congress. A politician with a butler and gangster tendencies, Nucky Thompson is living the good life. Everything you see here, it's mine. But you're bound to make enemies when sitting at the top of a lucrative bootlegging operation. And when the money starts to roll in, even friends will turn on you, like the overly ambitious Jimmy Darmody. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. And his friend. Al Capone. Playing Nucky for a chump. You know whose load this is? They hijack a shipment of liquor meant for New York mob boss Arnold Rothstein, causing friction between Nucky and Rothstein. Is this the way you do business? Tempers flare and bodies fall. Jimmy runs away from Nucky and the feds, heading to Chicago, where he learns gangstering 101 from Capone and Johnny Torrio. <laughs> With things heating up in Atlantic City, Nucky offers Jimmy an olive branch to help him clean up the shore, AKA the D'Alessio brothers from Philadelphia. Are you gonna shoot me from mouthing off? I wasn't going to, but you kind of talked me into it. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy returns with sharpshooter Richard Harrow. The man in the iron mask. He's a war hero. Thank you, and God bless. On the home front, a desperate Margaret Schroeder seeks help from Nucky. This should see you through winter. I'm not here looking for charity. He's hooked. And before you know it, Nucky Thompson is the bigger fish. Federal agent Van Alden accuses Nucky of corruption. He's a criminal. The man who killed the father of your children. Threatened by Nucky's new romance, Lucy Danziger fights to keep her man but she ends up in the unlikely arms of a corrupted Van Alden. What's your name, handsome? Nelson. Over on the north side of town, Chalky White is furious about the deaths of his men at the hands of the Klan. You go school these crackers. Meanwhile, Lucy is locked in a room pregnant with Van Alden's baby. This is in jail, Nelson. As he juggles being a murderer, a thief, and dealing with his barren wife's rejection of his baby mama's baby. But Lucy sells Van Alden's secrets to Nucky and skips town without the baby. When Van Alden's corruption comes to light, he leaves the bureau behind, packs up the baby and the nanny, and they're off to Cicero, Illinois. I'm sure we'll be quite happy here. At the Thompson residence, Margaret is tortured by her daughter's illness, her Catholic guilt, and then there's Owen. Jimmy is also looking for domestic bliss. I can be the person you want me to be. But his wife Angela knows that with the path Jimmy has chosen, that will never happen. So she looks for affection elsewhere. Word comes from Chicago that Torrio has a new supplier, George Remus. And who really likes Nucky Thompson anyway? I take it Remus doesn't. You're my flesh and blood, boy. With the Commodore pulling the strings. So you're gonna take back Atlantic City. Nucky's old guard turns on him. Even his brother and enforcer, Sheriff Eli Thompson. Makes me sick. I'm about to be indicted for fixing the World Series. Nucky helps Rothstein's Black Sox scandal disappear. The two reunite in a deal with a new player, Waxy Gordon from Philly. No one's gonna give you no trouble. They do, they gotta answer to me. Your friend, Herman, he was coming out of the Ritz with Waxy Gordon. With inside information, Jimmy and his new pal, Manny Horvitz, gets the details of Nucky's latest bootlegging venture. Waxy Gordon. Jimmy gets strong encouragement from an unlikely source to kill Nucky. Get it over with. But when the hit fails, things spin out of control. Plus, Jimmy owes Manny Horvitz $5,000, but his refusal to pay is costly. Your husband did this to you. Jimmy's betrayal of Nucky forces him to face his demons. Among them, the incestuous abuse of his mother, Jillian. There's nothing wrong with any of it. You're stepping down as treasurer? I am. Prince James. Jimmy, the new overlord of Atlantic City, delivers the clan so Chonky can get his revenge. Welcome back. <laughs> Nucky goes to Ireland to broker guns for liquor. A dozen machine guns, a 10,000 cases of whiskey. But when he returns home to face prosecution, Nucky finds a repentant Jimmy. Just tell me how to help you. Margaret lashes out at Nucky. We began in sin. We'll end in it. He confesses his own fears. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in jail. Then transfers his land holdings to her for safekeeping. Then they say, I do. Nucky takes Jimmy up on his offer. Confession signed at gunpoint. I've never seen a more blatant example of witness tampering. This case is dismissed. He then confronts his backstabbing brother. A2, Eli. And faces the inevitable showdown with Jimmy. To the future, gentlemen. Here. But all is not well, because the new Mrs. Thompson signs his land over to the Catholic Church, and the struggles continue.